Hi friends, welcome to Virtual Storytime. My name is Miss Emily. I work at the Mooresville Public Library in Mooresville, Indiana, and I'm happy that you're with us. Hello, thanks for joining me today. We're gonna get started with our hello song, which I can now do standing up. I have a little more space. We'll talk about that in a second. So everybody get your clapping hands ready. If you'd like to stand up, you can, like I am. And if you're ready, we clap and sing hello. We clap and sing hello. With our friends at story time, we clap and sing hello. We wave and sing hello. We wave and sing hello. With our friends at story time, we wave and sing hello. We stomp and sing hello. We stop and sing hello. With our friends at story time, we stop and sing hello. We'll clap one more time. We clap and sing hello. We clap and sing hello. With our friends at story time, we clap and sing hello. Nice job. All right, I'm gonna sit down again. You can too if you'd like. If you guys have noticed, um, if you have been watching our story times, for a little while now, you'll notice that things look a little bit different. So I am here in our library uh, mini studio due to the fact that our friends of the library organization uh, were very kind and um, purchased some great equipment for us to use. So we're really happy to have that and be able to uh, have a little more space, have a little more different things that we can play with with lighting and audio there's a microphone but we're also still learning so if you notice that things are uh, harder to hear if the lighting looks off if you can't see very well please let me know um, you can always use the contact us button on the library's website to um, to let us know how story time is looking on your end and we can make some tweaks along the way so with all that out of the way um, our story time today is all about squirrels. You guys know what a squirrel is? It's a little animal that lives in a tree and um, has a big curly Q uh, bushy tail um, that it uses and uh, it's very common. You'll see them all over. I've got them in my yard. I have two oak trees because their favorite food is acorns and acorns are the nuts that um, come from oak trees. You've probably seen squirrels before and they have some really special abilities. They can climb and they can leap and they um, are really good at getting nuts off the tree and they like to um, to hide those nuts uh, all over so that they have enough to eat over the winter time because they don't hibernate like some other animals do. They are active throughout the whole winter time, but they need to store up some food. So we're gonna start with a, a rhyme, an action rhyme. So I'm gonna get up once more. If you'd like to join me, you can. This is called the Sneaky Squeaky Squirrel. Can you be sneaky? Can you tiptoe? All right. Sneaky Squeaky Hippity Hop. Up he goes to the treetop, whirly twirly round and round, down he scampers to the ground. Let's do that one one more time. All right, you ready? With your sneakies. Sneaky squeaky hippity hop, up he goes to the treetop, whirly twirly round and round, down he scampers to the ground. And I'm going to sit down with that. Can you sit? I've got two books to suggest for you today um, to start out with, and they're both nonfiction books. Do you know what nonfiction books are? What that means? It means that they are books that tell us about real things. They are going to teach us about how real squirrels act and live in our world. So, the first one is called Squirrels Leap, Squirrels Sleep. This is by April Polisayer and illustrated by Steve Jenkins. 
it's got a really sweet, um, simple rhyme structure um, that it goes through, but it also shows all kinds of different kinds of squirrels and what they do along the way. And if you want a slightly longer book, still, still just rhyming text on that one, uh, this one is called Squirrel's Family Tree, and it is by Beth Ferry and pictures by A.N. Kang. And it's a really uh, interesting book that goes from, from uh, one season to the next, showing the squirrel making a nest, uh, gathering those nuts, um, seeing the, the snow outside. So that is Squirrel's Family Tree, two good nonfiction books for your consideration. So I have a rhyme that uh, talks about the different kinds of squirrels. Did you know there are different kinds of squirrels? I usually only see one kind of squirrel in my backyard, uh, but there are different kinds of squirrels that live in different places around the world. And uh, the first one I wanna share with you is called the Eastern Gray Squirrel. Can you see him? He is mostly gray. There's a little bit of red around him. But he's mostly gray and white, and he lives uh, in an eastern location, I think more on the east coast. So that's what that looks like. The next one is the kind that I see all the time here in Indiana. It is called a fox squirrel. Can you see that? So he's got a gray body, but he's got lots of red in his tail and in his underbelly. Um, and he's pretty big, so that is a fox squirrel. That you might see in your backyard. I also have a picture of a red squirrel. This squirrel is very red. It's mostly red all over his body. He's got some white on his belly, um, but he also has these funny uh, tufts of hair on his ears that make him look a little different from the other two that we saw. And uh, these are, uh, I think, sometimes found in England. Uh, there might be other places that you can see them, but that's the red squirrel. There's also such a thing as a flying squirrel. Oh, it's so cool. So the flying squirrel is different because it is active at night. So you probably won't see them because they're um, up and about when you are sleeping. They have large eyes because they are active at night. And they have these little skin flaps between their arms and their legs that help them glide from tree to tree. So they don't actually fly, but they can leap really long distances and they can uh, travel a long way. You can also tell his tail is a little flatter than the other squirrels that we saw. So here he is on a tree, <clears throat> and I also have a picture of him gliding in action. Oh man, he is so cool. So that is the flying squirrel. So we're gonna do a rhyme that talks about those different kinds of squirrels. So we're gonna start with our gray squirrel. I'm gonna get up once again. <clears throat> so, uh, the, all of the squirrels have big bushy tails, right? That's right, okay, so we're gonna say, gray squirrel, gray squirrel, shake your bushy tail. Gray squirrel, gray squirrel, shake your bushy tail. Wrinkle up your little nose. Hold a nut between your toes. Gray squirrel, gray squirrel, shake your bushy tail. Gray squirrel, gray squirrel, shake your bushy tail. Oh, nice. What was the next one we said? The fox squirrel. This is the one that we see in Indiana. Fox squirrel, fox squirrel, shake your bushy tail. Fox squirrel, fox squirrel, shake your bushy tail. Wrinkle up your funny nose. Hold a nut between your toes. Fox squirrel, fox squirrel, shake your bushy tail. Fox squirrel, fox squirrel, shake your bushy tail. Oh, nice. What was the next one that we saw on the pictures? The red squirrel, that's right. Nice job. Okay. Red squirrel, red squirrel, shake your bushy tail. Red squirrel, red squirrel, shake your bushy tail. Wrinkle up your funny nose, hold a nut between your toes. Red squirrel, red squirrel, shake your bushy tail. 
Red squirrel, red squirrel, shake your bushy tail. All right, last one, flying squirrel. Okay, are you ready? Okay. Flying squirrel, flying squirrel, shake your bushy tail. Flying squirrel, flying squirrel, shake your bushy tail. Wrinkle up your funny nose, hold a nut between your toes. Flying squirrel, flying squirrel, shake your bushy tail. Flying squirrel, flying squirrel, shake your bushy tail. Nice job. Oh, you guys were shaking those bushy tails. I love it. Okay, so I've also got a finger play that we can do together. And it has to do with our five fingers or our five toes. If you have a little one, a baby, and would like to do this on toes, just like um, this little piggy, you can do that as well. But I'm gonna do it on my hand. And we're gonna say, this little squirrel said, let's run and play. And this little squirrel said, let's hunt nuts today. And this little squirrel said, yes, nuts are good. And this little squirrel said, they're my favorite food. And this little squirrel said, come climb this tree and crack these nuts with me. One, two, three. One, two, three, nice job. Let's do that one one more time. All right, do you have your five squirrels? Okay. This little squirrel said, let's run and play. This little squirrel said, let's hunt nuts today. And this little squirrel said, yes, nuts are good. And this little squirrel said, yes, they're my favorite food. And this little squirrel said, Look, come climb this tree and crack these nuts with me. One, two, three. Nice job. I have two more books to suggest today uh, for the next part of our story time. So they are two books that are pretty fun. This one is called Old Mama Squirrel by David Ezra Stein. And it is about a mama squirrel who is so protective of her babies because she knows there's a lot, of, a lot of big animals out there that might want to eat up her babies. So she is out there to protect them. And the way she does that is she has a special thing that she says. And maybe you can say it with me. She goes, chook, chook, chook. Can you do that? Chook, chook, chook. She chitters at them. So she says, chook, 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 get out of my tree. Chook, 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 stay away from my babies. And so this is a very fun book uh, about old mama squirrel and all of the animals that she scares away who are so much bigger than her, but she is fierce. Old mama squirrel, you can see her on the back. Chook, 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 get away from my babies. Chook, 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 stay away from my tree. And you can see the babies up here. So Old Mama Squirrel. And then there's another book that's really fun, and it's a new book to the library. We just got it in August, and it's called Girl vs. Squirrel. And this is about a little girl who uh, likes to put out bird feeders and likes to look at the birds, but there's a squirrel who keeps eating all the bird seed. And so she has to come up with a way to keep the squirrel from eating all of the bird seed. So check this book out at the library to see if she succeeds. So this is Girl vs. Squirrel, written by Haley Barrett and illustrated by Renee Adriani. So I have a fun song about a bear and a squirrel, and this is kind of a silly song, but it imagines that the animals do uh, certain things when, when humans are around, but when they're by themselves, they act a little bit differently. All right, so this one is Grr Grr Went the Big Brown Bear. So we see them as going Grr Grr. So can you pretend to be a bear with me? All right. Grr Grr Went the Big Brown Bear One day Grr Grr Went the Big Brown Bear Grr Grr Went the Big Brown Bear One day And they all went Grr 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 But... We know bears go huggy, huggy, hug, huggy, huggy, hug, huggy, huggy, hug. We know bears go huggy, huggy, hug. They don't go grr, grr, grr. Oh, those silly bears. What about the squirrel? The squirrel goes jump, 
when we see him, you jump, jump. All right. We'll see what he does when he's uh, alone, okay? Jump, jump, went the little red squirrel one day. Jump, jump, went the little red squirrel. Jump, jump, went the little red squirrel one day. And they all went jump, jump, jump. But we know squirrels go rub-a-dub-a-dub, rub-a-dub-a-dub. Rub a dub a dub, we know squirrels go. Rub a dub a dub, they don't go. Jump, jump, jump. Oh, how fun! That was a good one. I like that song a lot. We have verses for owls and for turtles and for frogs as well, which we might do another day. When I came to the library to do story time here, I had to bring some friends along who usually live at my house. Do you remember Mr. Frog? and Scaredy Squirrel, they are here too. And Scaredy Squirrel would like to participate in our next song. Hi there, Scaredy Squirrel, how are you? All right, so you remember what squirrels like to eat? They like acorns, that's right. So let's see what, what we've got here. It's an acorn, that's right. How many acorns do we have? There's one two, three, four, and five. There are five acorns. So we're gonna sing a song. Down around the corner by the old oak tree, I set five little acorns looking so yummy. Along came a squirrel with his big bushy tail. He took one acorn and ran off down the trail. Oh, here he goes. He's gonna bury his acorn for later. Yum, yum, yum. All right. How many acorns are left? We've got one, two, three, four acorns. Four. All right. Down around the corner by the old oak tree sat four little acorns looking so yummy. Along came a squirrel with his big bushy tail. He took one acorn and ran off down the trail. Oh, there he goes. He's gonna bury that one in a different spot. Do you think you'll be able to find that later? Okay. How many acorns do we have left? One, two, three acorns. Three acorns are left. Okay, are you ready? Okay. Down around the corner by the old oak tree sat three little acorns looking so yummy. Along came a squirrel with his big bushy tail and he took one acorn and ran off down the trail. Oh, he's gonna hide it in another place. Oh my gosh, he's gonna, are you, you sure you can find them all? Okay. How many acorns do we have left? Two. One, two acorns. That's right. Down around the corner by the old oak tree sat two little acorns looking so yummy. Along came a squirrel with his big bushy tail and he took one acorn and ran off down the trail. Oh, I was gonna hide it over here this time. Oh, goodness. How many acorns do we have left? One acorn, that's right. Okay. Down around the corner by the old oak tree, there was one little acorn looking so yummy. Along came a squirrel with his big bushy tail and he took that acorn and ran down the trail. Oh, where are you gonna put it now? Oh, you're gonna eat it. Nom, 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 nom. Oh, so tasty. Very good. Oh, scaredy squirrel. Did you have fun with that one? I'm glad you did. I'm glad you did. I know the acorns are your favorite food ever. Absolutely. All right, scaredy squirrel. Would you like me to share something that's very special? And it's your book. That's, yeah, you are in a book. Did you know that? You knew that, okay. Oh, you really want them to know all about your book? 
Okay, let's talk about your book. So Scaredy Squirrel is a book that you can get at the library. Um, it is by a lady called Melanie Watt. And there is Scaredy Squirrel in his own book. And have you ever wondered why he's called Scaredy Squirrel? Scaredy Squirrel has a lot of fears. He's afraid of a lot of different things, but he is a squirrel that is prepared for everything. He has an emergency kit that he can use whenever things get dangerous. So you can uh, see all the silly things that Scaredy Squirrel does to stay away from danger. Some good things and some silly things. So Scaredy Squirrel is a great book to read. And if you like that book, there are more books about Scaredy Squirrel. This one is Scaredy Squirrel at Night. He also goes to a birthday party. He has lots of books. So Scaredy Squirrel by Melanie Watt. And if you like silly books about squirrels, I have one more to suggest to you. This book is, this is a squirrel? No, a taco. This is about a squirrel whose favorite food is not acorns, but tacos. <sighs> what a silly squirrel. And he is um, changing the book all as he goes to reflect his love of tacos. So this is put by Andrew Kanglos and illustrated by Josh Shipley. And this book is called This is a Taco. So those were two silly squirrels that we talked about, Scaredy Squirrel and the Taco Loving Squirrel. I think we need to sing a silly song. What do you guys think? All right, so this is an old song. This is one that your grown-ups might have heard before, and it is called The Acorn Song or I'm a Nut. And part of this song is that you make a clicky noise with your, with your mouth, with your tongue. So let's practice. Oh, nice job. It's, it can be kind of hard. So uh, if you have trouble with it right away, you can always clap during the clicky parts, but keep practicing because I bet you can get it. So here's how it goes. I'm an acorn small and round, lying on the cold, cold ground. People always step on me. And that is why I'm cracked, you see. I'm a nut, I'm a nut. I'm a nut, I'm a nut, I'm a nut. Oh, that was fun, let's do it again. I'm an acorn small and round, lying on the cold, cold ground. People always step on me, and that is why I'm cracked, you see. I'm a nut, I'm a nut, I'm a nut, I'm a nut, I'm a nut. Oh, nice job. Were you able to do the clicking? Keep, tra keep practicing, keep trying. So come on by the library sometime this week and you can get your craft packet as usual. It comes in a bag and it has inside, let's look. It has our rhyme sheet that has all of our rhymes and songs and books to read, lots of books about squirrels. It has a coloring sheet on the back as well as everything you need for our craft this week. And our craft, I'm really excited about our craft this week. Our craft is to make a Scaredy Squirrel headband. That's right, so you can pretend to be Scaredy Squirrel. You can put your headband on and leap and have your emergency kit. Let me make sure it's looking good. There we go. And you can be Scaredy Squirrel. So I love it. Do you love that Scaredy Squirrel? Oh yeah, yeah he does. Okay, so come on by the library to get that and we will uh, finish with our goodbye rhyme. And I'm gonna stand up for this one because I can. If you would like to stand up, you can too. All right, so everybody have their tickling fingers ready? All right, we'll tickle the stars and we'll tickle our toes and we'll turn around and tickle our nose, tickle, tickle, tickle. We'll reach down low and reach way up high. Story time is over, so wave goodbye. Goodbye, everyone. Thank you, and we'll see you next time.